Welcome back. We're going to continue our discussions and lessons on accounting. Uh, chapter 5 is the next one in the line. Chapter 5 talks about expanding the debit and credit rules, expanding the journals, uh, expanding the ledger. So we will talk a bit about these things. The agenda um, talks about, you can see we have a few items to, to, to list it here. The expanded ledger, and I'll explain what that means. The income statement, the other financial statement, which is extremely critical, the first one being the balance sheet, of course, and now we're going to briefly talk about the income statement. Second fundamental accounting equation, the debit credit rules as they apply to the expanded ledger. Chart of accounts, what is that and what is, is, is encompasses that. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of uh, accounting principles, including the fiscal period, the time period concept, revenue recognition principle and the matching principle very critical to the understanding of accounting uh, and we will talk a bit about owner's equity and its relationships and of course how does the equity section look with the expanded ledger so what is the expanded ledger the expanded ledger basically as you may recall the 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 first kind of ledger that you l looked at was for the balance sheet. It has assets, it has liabilities, and it has equities listed. In the expanded ledger, what we do is we take the equities, which is the owner's capital account, and we expand it further into several types of accounts. So basically, the revenues, the expenses, and the drawings accounts are the expansion from the owner's equity account. These three types of accounts at this point were assumed to be part of the capital or the owner's equity account. From now on, they will be listed separately. What is the purpose behind this? It is to provide essential information about the progress of the business during the fiscal period. So a fiscal period basically is any type of, any period which is at least a month long. You can have a month fiscal period, you can have a quarter for a fiscal period, you can have a, an annual fiscal period and the purpose here is to understand what is happening during that fiscal period as far as the uh, the revenues, the expenses are concerned. So you can see from this slide that the chart has been expanded, the ledger has been expanded. On the left side there is uh, the, the trial balance which ends on the capital account and then you can see that the capital account has been expanded on the right side which includes your revenues, your expenses and the owner's drawings accounts. And we will explain briefly uh, how that would look like in a different kind of a statement which is the income statement. So the income statement is the second most fundamental financial statement and it requires an understanding of revenues and expenses. So in the balance sheet, you may recall you had assets, liabilities and equities. In the income statement, you will have revenues and expenses, which brings to the fundamental, second most fundamental accounting equation, which is revenues minus expenses equals net income or net loss. So if revenues minus expenses is a positive number, you have a net income. If revenues minus expenses is a negative number, you have a net loss. This is extremely important for the business to understand and to adhere to because this will explain to them, any business, it will explain to the, uh, that business how uh, they are performing during the course of the fiscal period. Revenues increase equity. This is money that your customers pay you. So as they pay you, your equity increases. You can have different types of revenue accounts. It can be called, they can be called sales, they can be called revenue, they can be called fees earned, they can be rental income, it can be any type of money that is coming in. And expenses decrease your owner's equity. These are expense, these, they decrease the equity because you have to pay this money out. Revenue comes into you from your customers, expenses, money goes out to your, uh, for your expenses to your vendors. 
this can include rent, utilities, uh, telephone, uh, salaries, anything like that. Uh, net income or net loss is of course the difference between the revenues and expenses. So financial statement, which the two financial statements that now you are aware of are balance sheet and income statement. An income statement is, 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 is a, uh, an expansion of the capital account or the owner's equity account. So what is the drawings account? Well, as the name implies, the drawings account is basically the owner taking money out for their personal use. It can also be called owner's salary. However, if they take it out without a salary, then it's obviously owner's drawing. So owner, when the owner puts in the money into the business, they are increasing owner's capital. When they take out the money from the business, for personal use, they are decreasing the owner's capital. So owner's drawings work like an expense account. However, they are considered a drawings account on its own. They are part of the, the owner's drawing account is part of the balance sheet. It is not part of the income statement. It, although they're taking it out for personal use, just like a personal salary, it is still part of the balance sheet because you'd want to record the monies that are going into the business and the monies that are coming out of the business by the owner. So monies that are going in are considered in owner's investments or owner's capital, increase owner's capital. And owner's drawings decrease owner's capital. So that's how it works uh, similarly to expenses. So the question now comes, who uses the income statement? Well, of course, the users are similar to the balance sheet. Uh, owners, of course, owners of the businesses, which are also called uh, shareholders. Uh, managers of the business. Banks want to see if you have loans. Outstanding banks want to see how much money you are making. Uh, and of course, income tax authorities. They'd like to say, see if you are paying enough tax on your incomes. So what does an income statement look like? You can see from this that on the left side you have the expanded trial balance which we referred to earlier. And on the right side, that's what an income statement looks like. You have the word income statement, so similar to the word balance sheet. And then you have the name, uh, first, sorry, first you have the name of the, the business, then you have the word income statement. And then you, instead of just putting the date in, you actually put is it month ended or year ended or whatever the fiscal period is and you put the date of the, the period. So balance sheet is like a still camera. You take one picture snapshot of that day. What are the balances of those accounts on that day? Income statement is like a video. So you start. there's a start and there's an end. There's a beginning and there's an ending. So which means that you started on let's say January the 1st and you end it on December the 31st, so the period, the fiscal year ending on December 31, and what you, uh, what, how much money came in and how much money went out. So here we're looking at revenues minus expenses, and you can see that the difference is the net income. So very easily laid out, very structured in that sense. So what are the debit and credit rules as far as revenues and expenses and the drawings accounts are concerned. Extremely critical to understand. Yeah. Just like you, you remember and you understand and you seem to recall quite well for the balance sheet, you will need to understand the revenue, uh, sorry, the income statement accounts and how they work as far as debits and credits are concerned. So you can see that the owner's capital, you, you remember that credit increases the owner's capital account and debit decreases the capital account. Drawings account, as I said, drawings and expense accounts uh, work the opposite. So you have the debits that increase and credits that decrease those accounts. So expense accounts and drawings accounts work similarly. Debits increase, credits decrease. However, the revenue account is the opposite, where the credit increases and the debit decreases. Why is it this way? This is more similar to the capital account because 
as I mentioned earlier, that as your revenues come in, your capital increases. And as, your ex as you pay out your expenses, your capital decreases. So it's extremely important to understand these rules, uh, these uh, uh, expanded ledger rules for debits and credits. So again, revenues, uh, the credit increases, debits decrease, and for expenses and, and owner's drawings, uh, debits increase and credits decrease. So we will uh, stop this lesson here and we'll continue the rest of the chapter from tomorrow. Thank you for listening and as always, remember ARTW, accounting rules the world.